Hi, welcome back to another video of RV Outdoors. Today I'm going to show you guys how to build your own gas line for outboard motors with parts that are from Amazon. Well, just recently I bought several motors that came with gas tanks but no gas lines. And I looked on Amazon and for a complete gas hose, just like this, they want anywhere from $20 to $30 for. And I did some calculations and if you buy your own materials all the materials it's actually cheaper so what i have here is i ordered two packs of 10 foot 5 16 hose gas hose that actually came with 10 hose clamps that are inside there you can see there and this was 13.99 off amazon and you can make two gas lines with one pack of hose also i have this box of four primer bulbs there was four because i made two gas lines already and this was 14.99 Well, this is fairly easy and I know there's 10 feet of hose here. So what I'm gonna do is stretch it out and then put it in two halves and then cut it because five feet is a decent amount for a gas line. So somewhere right in here, I'm gonna cut it where my hand is. And I can just, you can just use tin snips, scissors, or I have my two gas lines. So now what I usually like to do is toward one of the ends, cut about a foot off. So you can put your primer bulb in. Just like so. What you wanna do is take your short hose and put a hose clamp on it. And then go ahead and put it onto your gas tank fitting. Just like so. And then you can go ahead and tighten down the hose clamp. So now you'll want to go ahead and thread another hose clamp on to the short hose. Now when you get the primer bulb, you can see the directional. So see this little arrow here? That means that gas is going to flow this way to this post. So it's going to suck gas from this post. So that means I want to put this post into this line here so the arrow is pointing away from my tank. Just like so. And then you can go ahead and tighten this clamp, hose clamp up. Quick tech tip, it's a lot easier to tighten up hose clamps with a nut driver or screwdriver. And this is a five millimeter and it fits right onto these hose clamps snug. So now what I'm gonna do next is attach the gas line, that I, the longer piece that I cut off and put a hose clamp on it first and then attach it to your primer bulb. Well, I picked up this Evander Johnson fuel line fitting from Walmart. Now these sell for around $5. So I'll go ahead and attach it to my line. So I'll go ahead and thread a hose clamp down and then push it onto the line. And tighten up the hose clamp. Well, there we are. We got a completed fuel line for an outboard. Now this is approximately a five foot long gas line which is a good amount for a small little rowboat or john boat and all you got to do is plug it into a motor and primer up and it should get gas all right so a little price breakdown i have about seven dollars into the just the hose for one gas line four dollars into the primer bulb and five dollars for the fitting which is approximately sixteen dollars just for one gas line and if you were to buy a complete fuel line they're just a little under thirty dollars so i'm saving over $10 each fuel line I make, which I need four of them. So in the long run, I'm saving a little over 40 bucks. And it's well worth it just to take a few minutes and build your own gas lines. And it's a little fun doing it too. Thanks for watching and please like and subscribe.